Mrs. Gatchett's here. I'm really excited about today's product. It's something that you can make with just a few basic materials that you probably have laying around your house. We're gonna get to make our own tie-dyed paper. And I'm really excited about it because you can make almost anything you want with that paper after you tie-dyed it. So let's get our materials and let's get started. Now that you've got your materials, what you need to do is get your coffee filters out. On my first example, I did a rainbow color scheme, going from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, all the way out from the middle. On my second one, I'm going to just take my markers and I'm going to add swatches of color and cover my whole coffee filter. I can use whatever colors I want to because I want to experiment with how they are going to blend into each other when I add the water onto my coffee filter. For the best results, you're going to want to cover your whole coffee filter with marker. Now you notice there's some little white spots that are showing through, but for the most part, I've got color on every part of my coffee filter. Now once you've got your coffee filters colored, you're going to want to set it on top of a piece of white paper. Then you can go ahead and start spraying down your coffee filter with the water. If you don't have water, you can dab it with a damp sponge. You're going to want to add a good amount of water. After you've wet down your coffee filters, you can see the colors immediately start to blend into each other. Once you've done that, you're going to want to wait and let them dry so they can fully blend into each other and you have dry paper to work with after. Now that your paper is dry, you can carefully peel off your coffee filter and look at the end result. You now not only have a cool tie-dyed coffee filter, but you also have a tie-dyed piece of paper you can work with as well. Now that both of your papers are dry, you can start to experiment with what you want to do with them. Maybe turn them into a snowflake. Maybe draw on them. Maybe you want to collage with them. The possibilities are endless. Thanks for joining and happy creating.